Ellie Kohanam to join us tonight. And it's good to have you here on the set. Thank you for coming in. I want to read something from a guy that you worked with in the Trump administration, Gabriel Norona, who advised on Iran with the U.S. Department of State under Trump. Uh, here's the tweet. Uh, What's happening in Vienna is a total disaster. The entire negotiations have been filtered and essentially run by Russian diplomat Mikhail Ulyanov. And concessions and other misguided policies have led three members of the U.S. negotiating team, negotiating team to leave. He says this is a complete mess and it's being mediated by the Russians. What exactly is happening here? Rob, first of all, it's great to be with it's you good tonight. To have you on, yeah. Thanks for having me on. Uh, we're living in a moment right now where we're seeing Russia's Putin hold the world hostage because of the fact that he has nuclear bombs. And at the same moment, the Biden administration is about to sign a deal with the world's number one state sponsor of terrorism, with the Iranian regime, and put them on the pathway to a nuclear bomb. Any sane administration would take a look at where we are today and they would reverse course. Unfortunately, we're not seeing that. Well, we're not seeing sane, but let me just push back for a second, because if you said that to anybody in the Biden administration, they'd say you're ex it's exactly the opposite. We're preventing them from creating a nuclear bomb. By doing this deal, they were going to make one if we didn't do this deal. So how do you respond to that? Because that's what they would say on CNN right now. Rob, I wish it were true, but it's fake news. Okay. The reason being that this 2015 Iran deal, which the Biden administration has been aggressively trying to get right back into, sunsets. The sunset clause is starting about two years from now. The restrictions on Iran's nuclear capability uh, starts to expire. And so, and they fully expire all the limitations on Iran. Iran's nuclear weapons capability will fully expire by 2031, which puts all Americans in danger. It puts our allies in the Middle East, North Africa in danger. It puts the Europeans in danger. It makes no sense, Rob. And again, at a moment where we're being held hostage by Putin, we should be reversing course. There's no reason for the United States to be entering this uh, misguided and disastrous deal, as President Trump used to call it. It's, it's, it is amazing to look at the, the simple fact that we're about to start pumping tons of money into, as you said, the number one state sponsor of terrorism. It's a country that hates us. Let's not be fooled about what Iran really thinks of the West and of America. These are these, they're going to ally. I'm, I'm assuming they would be a, a strong ally of Russia if things ever got tight. How much money are they going to get out of this thing? Rob, reports are that the Iranians are going to get $90 billion. And uh, these are monies that were frozen Jeez. over our sanctions. We know what Iran's track record is. They cause terrorism and destabilization all across the Middle East. We know that that's what's going to happen as soon as those funds are released to them. The Iranians also have a, a presence in Latin America right in our doorstep through the Hezbollah. And so we understand that once you release these funds to them, it can come back to cause danger right here at our footsteps, uh, at our doorstep so in the good. United States, right here at home. It's unbelievable. I mean, you, you, it's time and time. They give us so many examples of what horrible foreign and domestic policy look like. They're wrong on every single thing. And it's, it's, you don't want them to be wrong. I mean, it's not like we're taking stuff that makes sense and trying to make it not make sense so we have a TV show. I mean, it's, it's just astounding. It's like they, they want us to have a good show because they're so bad at what they do. It's amazing to see. Ellie, thank you so much for coming on. It's, it's good to see you. Thanks for, Thanks for having me on, Rob.